One of the challenges, I think, in classical music is to get people to understand that it isn't a bunch of people have the real knowledge and, and the holy grail of classical music. It's people who are on a journey with you that may have their best performance of a certain piece of music, and they will walk away from that concert hall saying, I really hit it tonight. I really got it. I think if you think you're going to a concert to have someone present music to you, you're missing the point. The musicians, as much as the audience, are on a journey. And they're on a journey that can change day to day. But they're learning something about the music uh, at the same time you as an audience member are. And um, so if you're as an audience member thinking to yourself, what journey am I going to go on tonight with these musicians? How can, I, how can I go along with them rather than see that proscenium or whatever it is as a separation between you and the musicians that are on the stage? It's the difference between being insular in the way you appreciate something and going on the journey, going on a journey with a group of other people. I mean, what, what, what's wonderful about live performance is your ability to share it afterwards and say, what did you think of that passage? You know, Port the Horn's great tonight. Didn't they really nail that? And wasn't that you know, spine tingling when they did that? Um, uh, you can't do that when you've got stuff that's stuck in your ears. It doesn't work.